Hello everyone, I am Barely Cedric and today we are continuing the Dolphin Reef Institute. Now for episode 2 on the build called uh, the Deep Blue Bay. So, the inspiration for this is pretty simple. It's, you know, a generic, not a generic, but, you know, just aquariums in general. I, I mean, when I was building this, I have visited an aquarium and I love the vibe. And I just wanted to recreate that, you know, look for, you know, this Dolphin Reef project. Not, yeah, I mean, Dolphin Reef Institute slash project, I guess. And, you know, I just, I was really into ocean animals. Until now, personally, if you... If you ask me if I prefer, you know, land animals or marine animals, I'll probably pick marine animals. I do have a fish tank. And I I mean, I've just been a fish keeper just since like a little kid. So, you know, it just makes sense for me to enjoy more marine life. And this inspiration itself is just I want it to be like I said a while back it's like you know this not makeshift but they, they, they don't really have a biggest budget but it still looks futuristic enough as you know a tourist site basically so uh, if you guys don't know Dolphin Reef Institute is like this uh, it's, it's basically inspired by many marine life institutes one of it being the clear water marine aquarium they have the you know these projects on saving the dolphins and also like other ocean animals these are this certain zoo is the not zoo it's aquarium such rescue center is the main like inspiration for you know making this that's the reason why i try to incorporate as much as that vibe basically if you guys I have not been to Clearwater Marine Aquarium, but from what I, you know, see in the media, uh, they are basically like, you know, it have this harbor-like vibe while having like this futuristic, you know, themed area. Maybe futuristic, I meant like neon, basically. I, I consider neon as futuristic. Do you guys like consider it? I don't know, do you guys consider it like, you know, neon as futuristic? I personally do, you know, like neon stuff I kind of consider as futuristic. So here is actually going to have three habitats. Uh, the first one, it's not really the first, but the, oh yeah, there's also like three exhibit animals. So the animal itself, uh, there is the hammerhead shark, the great hammerhead shark being in its own enclosure. The, uh, the cow nose rays, uh, the nurse sharks, and also the spotted eagle ray. For the exhibit animals, I have the Danube crested newt, the axolotl, and also the diamondback terrapin, of course. The hardest thing, personally, for me is because this is an indoor place, it's hard for me to, if you, you guys will see later, I added a lot of plants for, you know, the vibe. It's a little hard, especially if, you know, it grows beyond the roofing, so it just not, it, it, it just, if that's the case, it does not make it look realistic. So that's just a little hard, and uh, there's a lot of plants I had to use. There's a lot of plants I have not used yet, so it's great. And, you know, I want the vibe to be like this. When you come in, you have like this mangrove area, and then you're starting to go to the coral reef. So be mangrove slash forest, basically. So that's just one of the biggest, you know, inspirations. Because when I went to this aquarium, it's called Jakarta Aquarium, not sponsored, <laughs> but sponsor me. <laughs> but the Jakarta Aquarium have like, it's an aquarium in a mall. They have the upper, they have like two floors. The upper floor have, you know, like this jungle-esque and you know, like this mangrove area they have like all their land animals there like the binsurongs they have lemurs 
and then they have like a stairway down and not stairway down they first go to you know like this little mangrove area they have like the sea turtles and then they will you know they have like some stairway and then you're like underwater now they do have some you know freshwater animals later on but you know just i like the layout of it like you know like you're starting from the jungle to the mangrove to you know mer to the ocean that's you know that's just i like those kind of layouts i like zoos that have you know the not best but like just layouts that make sense by means like you know east asian animals with east asian animals you know african with african while i know some zoos who just add an animal here and then add another one beside it not really you know does not really make sense if it's like from africa or is it like from india it's just you know some zoos do that and i'm not really the biggest fan of it but i mean i still enjoy it no matter what i mean i like going to zoos anyway so just seeing an animal i have not seen before is sort of very rewarding personally and for the animals i have seen all of these animals i don't have a diamond back i feel like i have seen the terror i think i have seen the terrapin and actually i have not seen the danube crested newt yet i ha i just learned about it after the euro pack so plant zoo is teaching me a lot of things about zoology but for the other species they're i can say common to find in aquariums uh, if you guys don't know, I think probably you guys know, I am Indonesian, I live in Indonesia, and we are an archipelagic country, so we have a lot of these ocean life native to our water, so that's probably the main reason why I can, you know, see these species easily, like the nurse sharks, they're very easy to find, well not really easy to find, but they're common, you know, in our waters. So that's probably the main reason of why, you know, I have seen most of these species. Uh, I just learned when I was, you know, doing some research, I learned that the spotted eagle ray is endangered. I was not expecting that. I thought there's like least concern or something, but they're endangered species. That is, that is surprising to be honest. And I was just not expecting, you know, a such an iconic species you know in zoos and aquariums being classified as endangered i don't really know the particular reason why they're endangered maybe all overfishing maybe the issues with pollution but you know it's just surprising to me personally and so the you know i think i should say about you know the what is it again? The inspiration, I mean, my inspiration, the choice of animals. Like I said before, the animal, you know, choice is in inspired by Clearwater Marine Aquarium. And one of the things they have is going to be the cow nose rays. That's the one of the reasons why I added it to, you know, this area uh, for the spot eagle ray due to it becoming, you know, endangered. The hammerhead shark, which I have not mentioned before, you know, is I added it because, you know, they're critically endangered. They're such amazing creatures. I'm very sad that, you know, they are classified as critically endangered. Uh, and then, you know, the cow, no, not the cow, no, sorry, uh, the nurse sharks being like a common, you know, species. I'm just thinking of, you know, like this is a rescue Probably due to it being common, there's a lot of these species, you know, being rescued, um, you know, and I just, you know, I just enjoy, you know, working on this project, especially working with dolphins. Dolphins are one of my favorite species, marine species. I do like rays, but like dolphins, still just the best, you know, like, you know, sometimes I dreamt about, you know, having dolphins as a pet. I'm not joking. I know that they're not really the best in captivity, uh, but you know, I mean, here let's just say that this is all the all the dolphins are rescues. You know, this is Planet Zoo, not real life. Let's just not talk about it, to be honest. 
but you know some certain species that I you know pick in the game not in the game but just you know picked to be in this you know zoo is just some of my the animals that I actually do admire in real life I mean it's admire like I do like enjoy seeing in real life um, and then you know the collection of the exhibit animals itself is also inspired by <laughs> Clearwater Marine Aquarium seriously this whole project is inspired by Clearwater Marine Aquarium out of all the aquariums I was just like into the you know not just into what they do like I said before I have not been to Clearwater Marine Aquarium maybe one day I'll you know visit it and then like compare it with this build in the in the near future but you know oh oh well I'm just gonna try using you know from pictures and stuff oh so from here the one that I said before I wanted to have this forest vibe you guys can see it right here like I wanted to be have this you know just like you're under the canopy you know like in the forest canopy basically uh, even though it's mixed between like tropical, also like grassland and temperate, it's a little weird, but I mean, there's not a lot of, what do you call it, like the vines, there's not really a lot of vines, we do have ivies, we do have wisteria, we also have uh, the tropical vines, but personally, I think we should have more of these type of, you know, plants, the one that climbs on walls, I forgot what you call those. But like in the one that just you know grows on walls, that would be amazing if we have like more of these, you know, kinds of, you know, what do you, what do you call it? Like kinds of plants. I would love that so much. Anyway, I'll be tuning in later on. So be sure to leave a like, subscribe, and comment down below if you guys have any more ideas or suggestions. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and i'll be checking you guys again after this video have a nice day everyone
So here is the some cinematic shots of the build I built. Thank you guys so much and I hope you guys enjoy. so much for watching this video thank you guys so much for you know watching till the end i am so grateful that you guys clicked on this video uh be sure to you know leave a like and you know subscribe and don't forget to comment down below if you guys have suggestions or, or you know some insp inspirations that i can you know maybe use uh for my next build Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Have a nice day, everyone.